Well, just one look at this area under here, and you can tell that I haven't cleaned this yet. And uh, especially, uh, there's a lot of dirt and oil, uh, oil caked on in this area here, and on this rod, and also on the uh, lead screw, especially right in this area here. From here over, it's not too bad, but right in here, this is just filled, the groove of the lead screw just filled. So, um, since I've got the apron cleaned up and ready to go back on, I want to clean all this up while I've got the apron off because uh, otherwise the apron would just be kind of in my way. And not only that, but especially the lead screw. So, that's what's on the agenda for this morning, Sunday morning. I've got my uh, old roaster pan here to catch the drippings and uh, we'll go to town on this. Somewhere around here I have my little seat. Ah, nope, nope, that dog just ain't gonna hunt. Should have taken the lead screw out when I had the chance. Problem now is, I want to take the lead screw out. I think I better take that whole three-speed gear case assembly off again. You know what else doesn't help is that whatever this is that they used on here, which I believe is grease, is very tacky. You know, I need, I need something that's better at dissolving this kind of grime. Turn to the 3M, the mighty foaming 3M degreaser. All right, so I temporarily uh, mounted the uh, end support bracket for the uh, lead screw in that rod on the bottom there so that I can remove this rubber bungee which keeps binding and it's uh, making it difficult for me to rotate the lead screw as I clean it. Well, for those of you who were thinking it would have been easier if I had just taken the uh, lead screw out in the first place, looks like that's what I'm going to do because I'm just I'm going over this over and over and over again and I keep still pulling out the garbage from the groove, the threads, so I just can't seem to get it clean on the machine. I take it take it off the machine, I'll be able to expose the whole front of the apron, make it easy to clean that, clean the rack, and I'll be able to put half of it in the parts washer, clean it, 
flip it end over end and then put the other half in the parts washer and I should be able to clean most of it that way. That's going to be a lot easier. The question is how easy is it going to be to get this out? I clean this up right here, this collar, I can see a screw right there. So that's going to be the collar that keeps the shaft from going that way. Another bonus is I'm going to get to clean these gears in here, which I just kind of cleaned in place. I'll be able to scrub those in the parts washer now. Uh, let's see. Without a doubt. Well. Yeah, without a doubt, I've got to take this off because I've got that gear on there. All right, so I took this cover off. I'm getting pretty good at taking this cover off. And uh, I don't know if you recall, but a few, uh, a couple episodes ago when I was putting this together, I theorized about this washer, that when I took the machine apart originally, it was on the outside of the cover. And then I found this gear to be way too sloppy, and I decided that there should have been a washer in here. Well, I theorized that maybe the last person who had this apart before me that when they were taking this cover off that the washer may have fallen out and that that's why they didn't realize where it went and installed it properly uh, improperly well sure enough when I was taking this cover off of course it was just on here now but that's because I put it on here for safekeeping but when I took this cover off this washer fell off because this gear kind of gets pulled forward a little bit when you're trying to take the cover off and that's what happened oh show so I think my theory might be sound there. All right, so now that I've got this uh, this gear, of course, was just held on by the set screw. Take that off, no problem. So next problem is this collar right here has to come off. But this shaft has got a couple of, well, I don't know if that's key stock or Woodruff keys on there. But there, this shaft is not gonna, which is the end of the lead screw, by the way, is not gonna pass through the gearbox. Um, hey you dummy. This isn't even the shaft. What am I doing? Well, there's another mistake I can show. That shaft is the end of the counter shaft. This is the end of the lead screw. What the heck keeps the lead screw in there? Hmm. Well, there's a conundrum. On the Hendy, if I recall correctly, I think there was a collar on the end here that you drove a pin out, and that basically allowed the lead screw to go out that way, I think. Yep! Breakfast. All right, there, I cleaned out a little dimple in the center of the end of the lead screw on this side, and uh, it looked like uh, it might be there for the purpose of putting a drift in. And I tapped on that lightly after loosening that set screw. Although, actually the collar is moving out that way, so I really didn't need to loosen that set screw for that. Set screw keeps the lead screw from moving in this way further than it's supposed to. But my concern was, if there was nothing locking it at this end, what keeps it from moving it that way? But then, I looked at down this end, where I've put this bracket back on, and... You can't see it now because it's moved over, but right behind here, it's already in there, there's a hole through the shaft. So I think there was probably a collar with a uh, pin in it on this end that I had already removed early in the disassembly process and had forgotten about. So um, I'm going to have to take this collar, I mean this uh, bracket off again in order to let this continue to move this direction and hopefully eventually just come out. All right, I push this in as far as I can for now until I get this bracket off this end. Problem is as soon as I take this bracket off, the lead screw is unsupported.
Now this is tricky because as the lead screw is pulled out in this direction, these gears are going to want to drop out. Not moving. Not moving. I checked this collar once already and there's nothing nothing on it, no screw, set screws or anything. That collar is not the answer. Can't see anything here except for the casting that this oil hole goes down to. I guess I should look up from underneath and just make sure there isn't something from below that needs to be taken out or whatever. Maybe this gear Maybe the gear in the cone is actually hitting the side of the gear on this. Now it looks like that's easy enough to take that shaft out. I'm just going to take that out. That wasn't sliding very easily on there either. In other words, the shaft that this slides up and back and forth on. That seems like it's just a matter of taking off this collar, which is already loose. All right, so we took that collar off. Now this gear should come right out. I mean, the shaft should come right out. Take this collar. Well, I don't need to take that collar off. That's right. That can go right in the parts washer. That's really gummy. That's why that wasn't sliding well. All right, so now let's see if my theory was correct. Nope. And what's holding it? Get back under there with the light now with that shaft out of the way. Let's see if I can see anything different. You can tell by the sound that it doesn't want to come any further out this way. It's hitting something. Well, I do remember that on the Hendy that the uh, lead screw was basically a uh, light press fit through each one of these change gears and so it was a little hard to drive the uh, lead screw out and with each progressive gear that I removed it got a little bit easier so maybe that's all that's going on here yeah it's moving I get something to measure that to make sure I can see if it's really still moving. I'll try the same spot every time. 312 thousandths. Three twenty-five. Moving, but it ain't moving. It ain't moving much. Oh, how about a broken twist drill? That's not moving. Something's wrong. Pretty sure there's no way this could go out the other way. Yeah, I mean it's almost most obvious as the plane it's almost as plain as the nose on my face that this diameter of this hole which is almost exactly one inch ow, is not going to accommodate the lead screw the lead screw is about a hundred and eighteen thousandths over one inch where this is almost one inch on the dot Close, but that ain't it. Nothing 
Yeah. There's a git ball type oiler on the shaft right over here that um, I don't see any ball in it. And there's actually a spring in here that's stuck in here. And I'm wondering whether or not it could have gotten bound in there. Grab some pliers and try and grab it. It's almost like there's some broken pieces of metal in this. I wonder if somebody jammed something in here. That might be the cause of the whole problem right there. Well, that should clear it, if that's what it was. I wonder if I'm that lucky. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait a minute. 359,000, so I think it is moving again. I think that's what it was. Whew. I think I'm going to put my uh, rubber bungee back up. <clears throat> to give a little support to this uh, lead screw. Almost clear the first gear, but just like on the Hendy, the larger gears aren't going to be able to fit out from the top. I'm not sure if they'll fall out from the bottom or not, but <clears throat> I will have the uh, I'll have the drift pin, or in this case, this old drill bit in there, to arrest the fall. This gear now is turning independently of the other ones in the cone, so I know that this gear is now free of the keyway on the shaft. And if it fits through this hole in the bottom, which it just barely does. I'm home free. Now, I should be able to continue doing just as I was doing and get the rest out. There's two. All right, took some fussing, but I got all the gears off. And now the problem, well, maybe not. I thought maybe the keyway, the piece of key stock that's in there, that keys all those gears to the shaft, I thought that would now keep me from being able to get the lead screw all the way out, but it almost looks to me like on this side that there is enough room for that to clear. Oh yeah, I see there is actually a spot the key stock, if I line it up just right to fit through. Don a new pair of gloves. Throw some, uh, I'll throw some. Get my bungee cord unhooked and out of the way. And with a little luck, the lead screw will be out in a moment. thing correctly. Alright, now I want to unscrew there's a little set screw. This is a little one. Square head set screw. Locks this handle on. And that ain't the size. Loosening that set screw, I should be able to take this handle off. Yep. And now I 
can take this whole assembly out and clean this also. And it needs it. That's really gunked up and gummed up and that's why this assembly doesn't slide nice and easily along the shaft like it should to change gears. Oh. <sighs>